There we go. That's a fish. That's a snook. That's a snook. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. He's not he's not gonna be oh my god. That's a big one, dude. Today I'm about to embark on an awesome adventure. I am heading down to the very south tip of Texas, the Port Isabel and the beautiful South Padre Island. A lot of you guys already know this area is called the Lower Laguna Madre. Now, I've actually never, ever, ever in my whole life fished this area, so I really don't know what to expect. As you see behind me, I have my kayak packed along with all my gear and tackle. And uh, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna rough it out. I'm gonna be sleeping in the back of my truck or possibly just in the bed or in the driver's side of my truck, just roughing it out, trying to catch my food to eat. And um, like I said, I've never fished this area. I don't know where to launch. I'm gonna rely on Google Maps to pinpoint some of the launch spots and some of the potential areas I can fish to shelter me from the winds. So yeah, I'm super, super excited. But the only thing I'm dreading right now is a six and a half hour drive from Houston all the way down to Port Isabel. So without further ado, let's get at it. I'm gonna stop by Bucky's and grab a couple of things and we'll see you out there. All right guys, as you saw there, I had to pick up a few items so I don't starve because like I said, I've never been to the Lower Laguna Madre area. I don't know really what to expect if, if I'm even going to catch fish just going off a whim. And uh, yeah, well, we got some steaks and chips and candy. That should hold us over. So yeah, continue on the driving. As I'm driving a six and a half hours from Houston towards the lower Laguna Madre, I have a lot of time to think. And I'm what's constantly on my head is a lot of people have told me like this stretch of Texas coastline is the most beautiful coastline in all of Texas. And yes, I've seen the pictures on the internet, I've Googled it, um, I've seen videos, and yeah, it's the water looks so clear, so blue. Uh, it just looks amazing, but yes, I get it. Sometimes it does reflect on if there's been high winds or perhaps maybe there's a storm that passed through. That could affect the clarity of the water, but I am so looking forward because there's so much hype about this area and how much great fishing there is too. Like the wildlife the ecosystem, um, just everything about the South Texas coastline is paradise. Man, I can't wait to get there. Alright guys, I just got to the first location I found on Google Maps and uh, I was talking to some, some locals here and they say even though this is a nice kayak launch right here, right off the road You see that sign with the post here? They say after that it's a bird sanctuary, you cannot pass that with a kayak. If you do, you are fined 500 to 1200 bucks Man, that puts a dent in my plans because like I said, I've never been here before and I wanted to fish this area It looks so so juicy, honestly um, so I probably have to find a plan B uh, But we're gonna hit it. Don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna get at it So plan A didn't pan out the first launch spot that I saw on Google Maps didn't work out It's a bird sanctuary, so you can't pass so I went to plan B There was another launch spot right down the road and lo and behold It's a boat launch a perfect place to launch my kayak and I met another kayaker out there Javier uh, he's actually a fan of the channel. He knew who I was very flattering very very nice guy And he says he knew the area pretty well So he told me to meet him up there tomorrow 6 30 a.m. So I'm pretty pretty excited We're gonna see if we can catch some fish. He said he knows the area really well. He's from this area So, uh, you know, I'm actually pretty excited. It's working out pretty well because uh, <laughs> I don't know anything or anything or anywhere about this place. So yeah, so I'm gonna find a place right now to crash um, grab some grub and then just call it a night. Um, super excited, man. It's all on tomorrow. Yo, what's up, guys? Good morning, man. It is 4 30 right now. Man, I roughed it out in a Walmart parking lot after I got some water burger. Just kind of relax and kind of fell asleep really fast because the drive was really really tough 
Um, but uh, man, I am excited. Today's the day. Today's the day we do the exploring out here in the lower Laguna Madre area. And uh, I'm pretty excited. Can't wait to get the kayak out there. It looks like we have uh, fairly low winds. A uh, little bit, it's gonna pick up in the afternoon, but other than that, I think it should be a pretty good day, man. I'm pretty, pretty excited, guys. There's gonna be a lot of challenges that's gonna be presented today. First of all, I don't know this area very well, so I don't really know what to expect. And uh, uh, my buddy that I met yesterday told me it is really, really shallow. So push-pull applications most likely is gonna happen. A lot of oyster beds, um, two mile plus uh, pedal. Another obstacle is, I don't know if you guys can see it, but right there is the bridge. And the bridge sits really low, so uh, we have to make sure no poles are sitting upright vertically, otherwise they're going to snap. Or anything else, I didn't even bring my power pole just because of that reason, but uh, I'm really excited, man. And also, a lot of guys have told me that, you know, the, the light, ultralight tackle doesn't work for the species down here. Because of the abrasion in their mouths and um, light leader line, yeah, good luck, right? That's what they say, but you know what? I'm always unconventional. We're going to try our best to see if we can get some fish on these light tackles because I love using ultralight stuff and it's going to be a challenge. That's the challenge, folks. New area, new species, hopefully, and ultralight tackle. Let's get at it. I see. But I, I, I have some, but uh, definitely there were hitting chartreuse yesterday. That, that was the... Chart chartreuse color? Yeah, yeah. That was the color, huh? That was the color, yeah. And we just launched, guys. I'm excited. I'm gonna take my poles down because that bridge over there is a low hanging bridge and it'll absolutely snap our lines here. So everything is coming down for the time being until we pass that bridge. Whoo! Super, super excited, guys. I can't tell you how much I've actually wanted to do this for a while. So, um, yeah. Welcome to the lower Laguna Madre area, guys. So is there anything I should know, like, way to stay out of the, uh, like, uh, Nah, man, just, just, or... just fish, brother. Don't worry about me. Right. I'm filming it. You'll see this in about a, a week. Okay, gotcha. And then, uh, just have fun, man. Just, just be yourself. All right. Fish. Uh, I talk a lot on the camera, so, Sometimes people, I think I'm talking to them, but I'm actually talking, but you know, I was like, hey, Javier, yeah, yeah. then, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's a, it's a pleasure cool. to meeting people like you, like yeah, subscribers yeah. and stuff. So, yeah, for sure. uh, yeah, I had, I have a three day weekend. So oh, okay. here we go. This is a low, low hanging bridge right here. <laughs> yeah. And it's kind of like a low tide. Well, this is low tide right now. 830 was the low, low tide. Yeah. Um, but this is, it goes a little bit low actually maybe about another foot okay lower. and then it Either gets it gets park. about a foot higher yeah correct all right and you can catch snook here huh on these yeah. uh, pilings yeah interesting there's some bait right here right in front of us oh yeah lots of bait yeah a lot of bait yeah it's a beautiful morning it looks like wind's going to be low today too huh so that's perfect we're going to make a what two mile trek javier about, yes. a two mile trek no problem we do that a lot in galveston <laughs> two miles is kind of the smaller end of it I've done 15 plus before, so no worries. Uh, but it's a beautiful day. It looks awesome out here. Awesome, awesome.
absolutely beautiful here. The scenery and the um, the grass and the vegetation is so different than what we have up in the upper Texas coast. Like, kind of reminds me of Florida in a way. These mangroves. I'm not sure. Yeah, something is blowing up something there. Looks like just one fish kind of just going around. Oh, there it is. See? Right there. See him? That's Snook? Snook right here, guys. They're not hitting anything of ours, though. The Snook are here, though. Right now, guys, what, what, what's happening is this entrance to this little drain right here. There's snook blowing uh, bait up, but uh, they're saying it's hard. We got four kayakers here, including me, and no one's hooking up, and we're throwing a variety of different things. But they are snook. I mean, it's like massive, like destructive blow-ups. They're not hitting this. They're not hitting his. He's using gulp. Those guys over there are using uh, chartreuse paddle tails, it looks like. Yeah, see, there's a snook right there. <laughs> Not getting them to eat. That's the problem. All right, let's try something else here. Let's try a twitch bait that dives about two feet and it rattles too. Maybe this, this might be more appropriate for them. Oh, he's on. Nice. <laughs> Oh, that's a big, that's a big snook. <laughs> it's pulling some drag. <laughs> What'd you catch him on, the gulp? Gotta love that swimming mullet, the gulp. <laughs> that's an awesome fish, dude. <laughs> Look at that fight, dude. That's crazy, I can only imagine. That's a, oh, that's a lady fish. That was a lady. Oh yeah, see that? Right there too. They're just not hitting my uh, my twitch bait. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, first time in this area. Yes, sir. There we go. That's a bit. That's a snook. That's a snook. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. He's not. He's not gonna be. Oh my god. That's a big one, dude. What? Oh my god, dude. Dude. Oh my god. Oh. Holy. I got him. Oh my god. No, I got him. I got him. Holy. Oh my god, that's a massive snook, dude. Oh my god. I got him really good. Woo! Come on in here, buddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, dang, they fight. I love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> dude, it's awesome, bro. I'm, I'm speaking too soon though. We're gonna get him in. We're gonna tire him out. That's a massive snook too. Wow. Well, massive for me. My God. Dude, that's freaking awesome. Got you, buddy. I got you. Oh my God, he's too big. All right. <laughs> oh my God. No, no, I got him. We got him. Yeah! Oh, holy sh! <laughs> Dude, look at this fish! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, dude, it finally happened! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude, are you joking me? <laughs> oh my god, what a! F oh my god! Look at that money shot, guys. That is a massive snook. Ten and a half pounds, bro. Ten and a half pound snook. My God, look at that. Look at that specimen. <laughs> He's in like one and a half feet of water. Destroy that freaking bugs. Woo! Hoo -hoo. I'm gonna revive him for a little bit. We're gonna let him go after I measure him, take some pictures. And that should be it. 11, 10 and a half pound, pretty much almost 11 pound fish. 
He is 31 and three quarters. <laughs> 31 three quarter snook way to go for my first freaking snook ever <laughs> oh god awesome. beautiful all right we're gonna let this guy go what the, what the awesome. I'm telling you what guys lower laguna madre i wanted to come here to catch snook and that's what happened man blew up on that hydra bug the black color, the same color that works in our Galveston Freeport Marsh works here too. He destroyed it and did a bunch of jumps. Uh, I got retied because my leader's a little afraid. That was a big dude. Ten and a half pounds, 31 and three quarters. Boom! <laughs> Something else here. I don't know what these are, man. They're like bottom feeders. They're, They're bottom feeders, whatever they are. I got something though, and he's pulling hard. I want to say it's a. It feels like a calf top. He's he's got a little bit of pull on him. I don't think I don't think it's a red. Just the way he's pulling, he's just pulling down. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think it is a red. Yeah, that's a redfish. It's a good red. Oh, just. Just bottom, just bottom fishing with the bug's curl tail. Yeah, it's a redfish. He's not a big dude, but still, my first Laguna Madre area red. All right, come on in, buddy. Nice. He might be like right at 19. Yeah, he's he's going to be close. Beautiful redfish, man. Love catching reds. Ah. Look at this, guys. On that, on that bug's curl tail. Yeah, he's he's going to be close. I would say 19 inches, 18 to 19 inches easily. Yeah. Let's just see real fast. Look at that, right in his face, <laughs> dude. I love it. 19 and three quarters with a strong pinch tail. My first lower Laguna Madre redfish on the curl tail. The blue crab. I was just fishing five feet down at this bin and uh, I guess uh, he just picked it off easily man really really happy it's turned out to be an awesome day man didn't really expect much still not expecting much because I don't know this area too well but uh, using the same techniques I use at home and catching the fish man a lot of fun catch your breath there thank you you're good catching your breath you're still drumming you must be good Woo! <laughs> wanna try you want to try bugs the go-to is this, my curl tail, but the but the curl tails I have are one eighth. I don't know if it'll. Well, I guess you can you can try it though if you want. You want to, you pick, man. You want curl tail or you want a hydra? Okay. Do you want to fish the ground or do you want to just fish like just retrieving it in? Okay, then curl tail be your best bet. This is uh this is my favorite color, the black and gold. Um, it might work good because the water's not clear here. Um, definitely try it out, man. It's uh it's a great freaking lure. And uh, it's 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 uh, bugs best selling the curl tail black and gold right here. Yeah, I wouldn't say that, but it works. It works where I'm from, and as you can see, I just caught a nice red on that uh, blue crab color. There we go. That's a fish. That's a fish. I'm not sure what it is. Another red. All right, on the curl tail, just bouncing on the ground, and this guy got some spunk. Now he's not going to be a big fella. He's going to be a... <laughs> he's a Louisiana Red. That's what I like to call these guys. Man, but they still fight so hard. These dudes, these lower Laguna Reds, man, they think they're special, huh? Get in here, boy. <laughs> Another awesome Red, man. I would take these guys any day of the week. And he's a skinny dude. He might be right at... Dude, I think he's going to be at 20, but he's a skinny guy. Look at that. Yeah, he's real skinny. That's why he ate my curl tail because he's hungry. <laughs> what happened, bro? You ran out of food, food stems or something? He's he's gonna be close, guys. I don't think he's gonna hit 20, but still a beautiful fish. He's right at 19 with a strong pinch tail right there. So uh, he's a skinny guy. He needs to eat more, man. You know what I'm talking about? But it's still awesome, man, to catch redfish like this. 
in a new area that I've never ever fished before. Check out that beautiful tail right there, guys. Isn't that beauty? All right, let's let him go so I can fight another day. Give me my lure back, sir. Man, I'm glad I bought this new fish uh, hook sharpener. These are super sharp now. There you go. There you go, my man. Woo! There we go. That's a fish. I got him. That's a... Might be a snook, dude. A smaller one. Uh, uh, it might be a red, though. Yeah, that's a red. That's a really pretty red. Holy crap, that's a pretty red. Dang, that's a nice red. Wow. Beautiful red on the curl tail, man. They're not giants here, but they are freaking pretty. It must be the water. Oh my God, look at this, guys. Look how red he is, and look at that. You cannot tell me that is not a beautiful redfish right there. Dang. There's no doubt in my mind, in my opinion, probably the, probably one of the best redfish lures that it's in a market period, man, the curl tail. Catching redfish one after the other. What a day of fishing folks be able to catch my PB snook uh, 32 inches 11 pounds he says that type of fish that size is very rare for this area so he was very very ecstatic and he he couldn't believe his eyes how big and lucky I got but man the fishing was awesome just because the water was you know it wasn't as clear as I thought it'd be but we had all those rains and it's a mud bottom so technically he says the water clarity is not really clear here, but still a freaking awesome time. I was able to catch fish, explore a new area, just really enjoy mother nature. Uh, the winds had to pick up, so we call it quits a little bit early, but still, man, I will be back. This is an awesome, awesome place. Uh, the reputation about the lower Laguna Madre area so far has held up to its hype, to be honest with you. Tomorrow I'm going to a new spot to check out. And uh, we're going to do some side casting because I think this other spot that I saw on Google Maps is all grass flats and grass flats and shallow water usually means there's going to be redfish. So I'm super, super excited about that. So you guys stay tuned for that next episode. But yeah, you know, I was going to do a survival and uh, catch my meal and cook it. However, my snook that I caught was so big, it was uh, beyond regulations. 28 inches is a max for the state of Texas and mine was you know 32 inches what can I say <laughs> so no catch and cook uh, so you know we're just going to get some water burger and just chillax and uh, get ready for tomorrow man but um, yeah guys I hope you enjoy this first part of this lower Laguna Madre adventure video uh, let me know comment below if it's more stuff that you want to see uh, I had a great time man I mean I can't I mean I'm just so happy it was freaking awesome thank you guys so much for watching I'll catch you guys on the next one